Europeana stručné dejiny 20. Europeana, a brief history of the 20th century, published by Paseka in 2001. Young people said that racism was a result of the old world and that it was necessary to rethink the world and televisions and refrigerators were less important than love and happiness and they did not want their parents to tell them what they had to study and to forbid them to smoke and have sexual intercourse and wear long hair etc. The 1960s represented an important watershed in the history of Western society because material prosperity prevailed and women had access to contraception and young people became an important component of public opinions. And young people became important component of public opinion and in time older citizens started to engage in sport and dress in young fashions and sexual intercourse in various ways and voice novel and informal ideas. When someone was not young in spirit, they belonged to the old world. And sociologists said that the bourgeois society was extinct and had been replaced in a new form of society that they called adolescent. And that they said that it indicated a radical change in the evolution of Western society and that it was necessary to reflect on this. And some philosophers said that the cult of youth was one of the silliest things in the history of human intellect and it was indicative that it was invented by the fascists and communists and democratic societies were foolish enough to borrow the cult of youth from the fascists and communists and others on the other hand said that it was all right that youth was possibly silly but it was dynamic and that was positive. Sociologists said that being positive was a new value in Western civilization and that it had replaced traditional humanist values that were no longer appropriate to the state of society. Being positive meant that people would look forward to the future with confidence and take part in sports and live healthily and harmoniously and visit the doctor regularly and live to an advanced age and work hard in order to enjoy their retirement and wear young fashions. And no one wanted to be poor anymore and everyone wanted to have a refrigerator and a cordless telephone and a dog and a cat and a tortoise and a vibrator and take part in sports and attend psychoanalysis. Catholic philosophers said it was the fault of Protestants because they emphasized the importance of material success and God helps those who help themselves. Whereas Catholics believe more in whom God loveth, he chastised. Just Protestant philosophers, on the other hand, said that the decline of the Catholic Church proved that it was unable to move with the times and that mentalities evolved and pastors could marry and satisfy themselves sexually and so better propagate Christian ideas in a society dominated by nihilism. And people in cities got themselves dogs and cats and guinea pigs for their homes because dumb animals were faithful friends and in in a very alienated world. And dogs and cats had their own hairdressers and beauty salons and fitness centers and convalescent homes and morgues and cemeteries. And American soldiers returning from the Vietnam War clubbed together to build a memorial to the 4,100 American dogs who fell in Vietnam for freedom and democracy. And in the developed countries, farms were set up that were known as countryside museums or countryside corners, and city people would visit them to see what a horse or a cow or a hen looked like because farm animals had gradually disappeared from cities. And other animals became scarce too, too such as badgers and owls and tree fox and butterflies and beetles and ecologists said that it was the fault of environmental po pollution and pesticides and exhaust gases etc and some ecologists used to carry out nitrates on medical and pharmaceutical research facilities where tests were carried out on animals and they released monkeys and rabbits and hamsters and dogs and snakes and frogs etc and more and more people thought that it was necessary to protect animals and they set up societies for the protection of animals and sometimes they dressed up as bears or kestrels and demonstrated in city streets against hunters and against bullfights and against scientific experiments on animals and said it was inhumane to kill animals. 
Some of them were vegetarians and ate carrots, etc. Hunters said they hunted animals in order to maintain tradition, that traditions were being lost, that, and that traditions were important in the modern world. And every year, some hunter killed another hunter instead of a wild boar by mistake, and the other hunters clubbed together and bought his widow a new washing machine or something similarly useful for the home.